Hello and welcome to this exciting TV program Know Your Roots and I'm your host Atiang Laura. Now on our journey of knowing who we are, today we are looking at the traditional religion of the Baganda people. Now most of us who have gone through Ugandan schools remember the story of Chintu and Nambi. Well I hope you do. Now just for a recap, Chintu was the first Muganda upon the surface of the earth and he had his one cow. Then there was Gulu who lived in heaven with his children, namely Nambi, Kayikuzi and Walumbe. Occasionally, Nambi loved to come down to earth to play. And that is where she saw this handsome dude, Chintu, eh? and she decided to talk to him and convince him to go with her to her father to seek for a marriage blessing, which Chintu did. Well, they got the blessing, but the father warned them not to return to heaven because Walumbe would follow them down, and that wasn't a nice thing, according to the legend. On their way back to earth, Nambi remembered she had forgotten the millet for her chicken. Huh? So she decided to go back to heaven to pick, despite the fact that she had dissuaded her. She insisted and went back to pick the millet, and that is where she met Walumbe who asked her where she was going, you know? And at the end of it all, he forcefully followed her to earth. And that was the birth of disaster, according to the legend that has been taught to us. But this is not just a story. Well, behind me, right here, is the entrance to the home of Chintu Nambi. But the cameras were not allowed inside, so we've decided to shoot from outside. And then later on, we are going to take you to the actual portals where Kaikuzi and Walumbe were busy fighting when Kaikuzi had come to pick up Walumbe and take him back to heaven. Well, stay tuned. Know your roots, know your roots, yeah, 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 mama. Uh. The Baganda believed in a spirit world beyond what they could see and they divided the spiritual realm into four main parts. And at the very top, they had Katonda, that is Gulu, the Gulu that you hear about. And he was believed to be a very great God, but never intervened so much in human affairs unless asked by other spirits, which they always went through. And his priests came from the Njovu clan, the elephant clan that we hear about among the Baganda. Now his shrine is in Bukare Chagwe, that is where you'll find a shrine. Now at the second level, we have the Luvale. These were human beings like us who showed great prowess while still alive. And their spirits were venerated after death and expected to intervene when asked to. They can intervene in state matters or any other matters that the Bazukul would bring before them. Now the priests, their shrines are headed by priests or priestesses called Mandwa. Now at the third level, the third level, we have the Mizimu, like you hear that someone has died and their spirit has left their body. That is now Muzimu, like you hear someone would say, Naloso Muzimu Gwajaja. That is another level of a spiritual realm for the Baganda. At the fourth level, we have the Misambwa. These are very benevolent but very vicious spirits if not appeased when they need something. Now that we understand the spiritual levels at which the Baganda put the spirits, now let's go inside Tanda and find out where Walumbe originated from, where he dug his portals, and where Kayikuzi is, and the rest of the spirits in a bit. Know your roots, know your roots, yeah, 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 mama. Now right here where I'm standing is Tanda Archaeological Site Entrance, as you can see. And this is the main shrine of Jajaburamu Walombe. Now here you do not call him the Angel of Death, he's actually the Angel of Life. And this is where the birth of the legend of Walombe was. And this is the place where we are going to find out all the details about the deity of the Baganda people. Now I'm standing at the portal of Jajabulamu. Like I told you, Jajabulamu is Walumbe. They don't call him the angel of death here at Tanda. Now when he comes to you in a dream, he gives you a bad dream. He gives you a very bad dream. Now, these are the spears you're supposed to carry when you're coming to appease him. There's a spear that is in this shape. It is like this, which means this 
this shows if you count the heads on these spears, there are five, meaning he is calling you to come and appease him and set everything right with him. Now, when he lets you go, this is a spear that you carry. It also has five fingers. It's like this, meaning that he has let go of whatever he was holding. He may, because when you're not in good terms with him, your business will go bad, your family may go bad, you may get diseases in your home, whatever problem that may come your way. So when he lets go, this is how he does it. So this spear is symbolic of when he has let go, and this is symbolic when he is calling you to come and appease him. But let me, Sakali Bala Bosco, explain to us the whole detail in depth as it's supposed to be done. Kakati we tutu sewe vaite wa msajja mkulu, jaja fe kabaka pulamu, jaja fe siwa mala, jaja fe chitaka chana wansi. Ngeira msajja mkulu wa nichimisa jaja fe kabaka pulamu, ye kabaka we misambwa jona, monsiyo na. Kubesa wa yoru wa lirobo gama anti, olia gama anti achi wakana, jaja fe kabaka pulamu buofo muganda wa gamba walumbi yako zechi. Ye ya muridi. Ateno omu zungu wa mumerika buafaba ga walumbi ya muiko zechi. No mu China bwa faba ga walumbe ya mulide kitegeza omusajjo ono yatalaga ensiyonna fenna kitegeza yakola chi ye kabaka wa emisambwa jonna eranga musajja mukuru jjaja fe kabaka bulamu ebisere bisinga aine manja jjabanja mu ngaye eranga jjaja fe kabaka bulamu ono wa baku banja ebisere bisinga aine biroto ebyentisa byakozesa okugeza nga Bwaba na daranga abanji omukazi asobola kukuba njanga omuntu ofuna omuntu ajja na kozesa eh? omusajja oba ngo oli musajja nga ngo oba mukazi nolo tango ogwambinya odukira mu bikata bya lumondu usula mu bafu gwa muntana bintu ebyenti solo taga solo solo eh? jjaja fika baka bulamu atiro okubanga yakola chi ebisere bisinga bogenda kumusawo nga gama anti oli ke kitambo eh? Ochulia, kati sote chiba chitambo, jajja fika waka bulamu, hapa kubanyiza mbu chitundu chabu tamanya omotegele, hali okakole chiku, ngomusa wa galete mbuze nziru gafunga nume, olete norugo yorudu gafu, olete na mafta tukwate chitambo isho tukole chiku, tuchoche. Kati mbulambu lukufubwe chintuecho, togula mbuze nziru gafu na chitundu ngo tegede, musajja mkulu bamu wikaru bugoru dugafu, Okubanti omukaliza okumujja kuchiri echimu yise chitambo obo kujanga kulete levilote vientisa obo kubanga ja akozesa Bamu lete lorugolu no rudugavu ne bamu vikako uro kumalawe chiziki zechu chenjini echivade chikolachi echivadeo Ela jajia feka waka vula mwogo tetuko mwogo ntitumu sinzanga jajia feka waka vula mwogo kubaka waka vula mwogo ayagalanga na uomuli ya mele okolachi uori tuongeleza ako urugolu nyufu Le chitu viki so rubu goru no rumiofu. Tulu vika kuruwe mizimu jie chikacho. Hmm? Nti omuzimu guwe gumanyi nichi. Guwe gumanyi ni rubale. Wano mubuganda omuntu wafaba mzinga murubu goru miofu. Hmm? Atela ne kunko merede. Nga bamu zitela kwa musika. Ila echifoni kwa chibachi ya rubu goru chi. Rumiofu. Katiche chitu viki sa mubuwe mizimu jie chikacho. Okuwante omuzimu guwe gumanyi ni rubale. Wotali. Hmm? Jaji ya kabaka bula muta ina guagenda kolachi, guagenda kuata. Haina kuata gwe, nari uka kolachi, avira u. Ilapo tuma loku viki olubu goru norumiofu, tuongeleza ako olubu goru norweru. Oluo kukaliza emi samba jona. Jaji ya feka waka bula mu okumuka kanya. Oluo kumute okuteleza, oluenda chichicha avadaba anje mbuzi, jivaba diba ansabi, na viku olubu goru chi, oludu gavu. Eche chilo tebienti isa nebiko lachi, nebiko wawo, nebiko mbwe mizi mje chikacha ikubana gugu bagu ino kubanja, mpewewe yiko lachi, gufuwa, no kaliza no rubugoluchi, uruo kubanti lueruwe lulawe vizibu yona, iva demuchi, mumiri mujo, mkufuno wa mbiznesi zo, no yiko lachi. Elanga mbugo zino zitambula boziti, oja sanga fumu lino. Nti jaja feka baka bula mu nebo oba mwusi ichi guenga wete na andigo ganze sima hivi haba jaja anga ya haba daa kubanja. Line fumu nga bulia bali anga lotano. Gye limu kudia hako zisa oku kuko uula nga bonaba onti njaga lo ito omundu. Elanga tuongele za kongo simba ngo mazo kubika. Efumu lino elia sewa mala litambula norubu gorutia. 
Oruweru. Eh? Jaja feka baka bulamu okumala we vizibu vyo na. Hmm? Mubwase wa mala obwaba jaja fe. Tuku ataganyi. Elanga tetuko moku. Omuntu okujo kubike ngo yezino. Hmm? Tazibika luabu sobozi. Luisi chinzi koku, chiso boko ukuja mubwe, mu, mu, mawanga na waga ntinze ndi muna nkore mbise mu mbikafe ya china nkore. Na era mkatundu kali ntijaja feka waka bula muta ya ula mawanga. Chiso bulu ukuda nobiko uluchi urubu go. Eh? Ata uli ulise ulio kubikengo ya zino buba kubwa kubwa taina busobo zibugulachi mbugo zino. Ye jaja feka waka bula jaja feka waka bula munu bamu gabula amalua. Gwe mwenge guanywa. Muma yolo uzalua chiba mugabula amalua. E, mugabuza amalua nti jaja feka waka bula mu. Mugabu ulaba insakenu. Eh? Gwe mwenge gwe uguwa kalo guanywa. Eh? Nti kari kalo. Akamule itajuki la nambi. Eh? Yadda ewa chita awe guru. Anonaka chi obulo buwe nkokozi. Jaja feka waka bula mu. Oba mugumu ita walu mbenga amwesinga na mga mwanyi na tondeka tuda fena kuchi kuhunsi. Jajja feka waka bula mkwe kujane mwanyi nani? Nambi. Eda chovula banti ya nywa mwenge guwa kalo. Ntikali kala akamu kwa lachi. Akamu leta. Na uinu kaza kurubede bedi. Noja no sabida kebibyo. Jajja feka waka bula mkwe kwa lachi. Na kuuliriza. No gabula koku maru wago. Nega wanga gemaru wandizaga sobulo kuruwa nila monsonga zobo kwa lachi. Oh, Savi. Know your roots. Know your roots. Know your roots. Yeah, 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 mama.